like to show you Sandra's house. So I'm going to ask her to tell us a little bit about the history of the house. Sandra? Sandra? Ah, there you are. <laughs> Hi. Well, Liam jumped on me today with this house business. Sandra, give us a little bit of background on the house. When was it built? Well, this house was built in 1924 or thereabouts. Okay. And we bought it in 2005 when it was empty for 30 years. Now, this house was built by the, could I say, famous stonemasons of the Absolutely. Of I the think Liverpool I should area. explain to the people that um, uh, Sandra lives in the Cruz department, and this department was famous for its stonemasons. So this house was built by one of those stonemasons and they took actually four days to walk with their implements and so on to Paris to go work there. What's nice here is the stonemason left us a sign because what they did, they made their marks oh, near the course. entrance of a house. So right, so this star was made by... A stonemason stone mason. whose house this was. Right. So that's when we got, we bought the house with a bit of this. And the other nice thing about the house that we discovered when we started to renovate, um, we found a big certificate that right. was given by the local mairie or whatever department because this house was also housing kids in the the Second World War, because oh. this area is also famous for the resistance. That's this correct. This is the resistance yes. movement area. Actually, so, the whole Limousin Yes, yes, region. and so this was yeah. the house where they housed them. And it was lovely to see that your names okay. were there and it was signed. But we've given that certificate back to our local little hamlet, because they've got okay. all the patrimoine things that they keep there. Sure. So we thought okay. it would be fitting them. So, uh, if you don't mind, I'm just going to show the viewers the house. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> okay, this is the dining room. And you can see this is what Sandra bought at the attic sale. Which is usually what uh, it's a, used it's for a, fish. It's for fish, for steaming fish. And for this steaming was a salmon, fish. salmon steamer. Yeah, look how nice that is now. Okay, and then of course the wood burner for winter. So, yeah, so there aren't any more fireplaces? No, no open fireplaces. We've got one open fireplace, but the fireplace is in one of the bedrooms, but we're not using it. Okay. So I've, I kept it, but it is, it's closed up. Right. Really, with its natural thing. I'll show, me, I'll show you what it is. But okay, when we go upstairs. Yeah, when we go upstairs. And tell me quickly, how many houses in this hamlet? Well, there's four houses in this hamlet. When we bought it, yeah. we were one of the first ones to buy the house around here because it was all derelict around right. here there was just the barn where there was a farmer working okay. and over the years the houses were bought up and now i've got three french neighbors and they've all renovated okay. a bit and reworked okay. on barns and so on so it's really quite nice, nice. we've got a little community here now <laughs> it is unusual because of the Little villages die, you know. Yeah. Okay. And here's the material that Sandra bought at the market yesterday. And she's going to cover this chair in this material. It's going to look stunning. Okay, and another wood burner. And if I can add, you can't take Africa out of the girl. I've got my little bit of Africa here as well. Yes, you do. I'm going to show them now. I heard. Okay, this is like the TV room. And let's have a look at Africa.
Okay, now then I think we can go upstairs. Let's move up to the next level. All the wooden frames that architraves on, so we took all the architraves off. Okay, so when we bought it, it was basically a ruin. So my daughters and I um, Okay, um, this house was plastered by my daughters and I by hand, the whole house, because we wanted to keep it in keeping with the naturalness of the place. So you can right. still see there's our movements of the hands that we did. So. Okay. <laughs> right, so here's then to so the whole house, all the walls we did like that. Um, Okay, and this is your spare bedroom? This is a One spare, of them. One of the spare bedroom, yes. And as you can see, I'm not matchy-matchy. Everything is always a bit off. And I'm light Leon. I love brocantes. So everything <laughs> comes from a brocant or a dechetterie that I pick up. Great. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> yes, it's all fixed there. Um, my husband... We picked this up at the brocante, all these funnels, oh, and yes. then Guy made them into my lampshades for me. Wonderful. There's a little bit of Africana, South African bench that came still from South Africa. Right. And I see there's oh, Le Bon. Shall I show my bathroom? Salle Le Bon. Oui. Ah. So there's the bathroom, one of them. Um, old singer machine. So on. So my idea was to sit in my bath and look out of my window. Of course, we that all was want that. That was the whole idea. We all want that. <laughs> yeah. um, and what you see there was a ruin, and it was a bread oven. Okay. Which my sons came and they dug it all out and they put and they started building the, sh the stones back again. So okay. now we've got a Great. working outhouse. Right. Okay. Else. So this was this is another extra room and it's gone into single beds. Okay, so here's the fireplace I was talking to you about, one of them that we kept. Um and what is interesting here, it's got this little symbol on on the door. Um, yeah. that is for that route de Compostela. If you yeah. go there, you will see that little mark yes, there. That we saw the yeah, so that's yeah. how they close their, their fireplaces. And it's non-functional, but it's I think it's a nice feature. Yeah. It keeps so, it closed up. Yeah, and all the rest is coming out of actually South Africa beds and stuff and so on. Okay. So that's many years. That's what? Good heavens. Um Twenty, my twenties when I got that. All right, you don't want to. This, this is just my bedroom. Okay. Show um, us. Okay. Okay. So my bedroom. Once again, Africa is back. Marrakesh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and you will see, I like doing creative sewing. So I've got my patchwork and, and stuff. And also a nice view. And this is Beautiful my view. view. Come on, Leon, show So me. when you wake up in the mornings, this is this what is you what, see. Yes. And this didn't exist at all. It was just one big bramble. And it wasn't actually an, an apple orchard where all the apple trees oh, fell okay. over. Because they make cider in this part of the world. Yes, okay. In our car, we had loads of ciders. So traditionally, the houses had their lofts. Okay. And the lofts were not really lived in. It was for storage and whatever. Okay. So this had to be redone. So just to tell everybody that all the floors, we had to re-put in the roof because we could see the, the sky. Okay. Burn. Okay, and this so, is yeah. your workroom. And here's my workroom. And I always wanted to have a lovely place to work in. This is divine, yeah. So, yeah, we were both. And, this. and this, <laughs> these are all my old clothes I gave Sandra, and she's going to make me a quilt. Yes, 
and then I also bought material at the market and soon I will have some throws done in this material and that material mm, and so good friend must do all this yeah, yeah it's because I had to do the cooking that's why <laughs> and as you can see there's still renovation in progress because I'm busy with it oh yes with the Veluxes so okay I just want to show them what you do up here being a qualified medical doctor this is quite amazing <laughs> that you do this <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now and now really we'll go happens. to my little room where I sleep. Okay, so this is the room where I usually sleep. Wonderful big room. Also part of the attic full of African art and then I also have my own bathroom look at this stunning door okay and there we go into the bathroom right And that's that. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> oh no. Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir. Okay, Sandra, thank you so much. And I think it's time for a drink. Oh, definitely. Time for gin and tonic. I'm sure you can have a gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs>